not it. But honestly, I'm about to take these braids out. I don't know where this one just came out from, but I was literally thinking to myself, I really want to go ahead and take, oh, it came from right here. I can tell it came from right there. So I'm thinking about taking them out. And I'm really enjoying them. I'm really enjoying them. But yeah, it's been a month. Yeah, I think I should go and take them out. But I actually really want to wash my hair. And I have been loving these, but it's time to come out. <laughs> yeah, this story. This story is hilarious. So this is my stand. It is an eight cube bookshelf. In case anyone's curious. I have a 60 inch tripod. I could be I don't have to hold it. So this is the color. I think the color is rustic gray, maybe. I'll pop it on the screen somewhere right here. Here. Actually, I should unplug it. So this is what the shelf um, looks like. So that's the name. Better Homes and Gardens for a Cube Organizer. And I honestly was thinking about doing what I did in my bedroom up here. But I decided I'm probably still going to do that. You know, this, so if you watched my last vlog. In that vlog, I put together a TV stand. And so if your your um, TV stand is too small for your TV, it, what it does, it lifts it up. And so it kind of makes it seem as if it, 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 it makes it look better than if it's just sitting on a, a surface that's too small. If that makes sense. So, what I'm envisioning is that I'm going to take the four cube stand, put it up to the side. So, I'm going to put this four cube um, organizer together. I'll come back with the TV propped up because I'm tired of looking at the TV on the floor. Like, it's hurting my eyes. <laughs> so, y'all, this is the completed um, four cube shelf. I'm a little disappointed because I guess it's my fault. I should have looked at the dimensions. Um, but I guess in my head, I just figured they were the same height, you know, four cube shelf, four cube shelf, but no matter which direction I turned it, it's actually not the same height. So, um, I'm trying to decide if I just want to keep it anyway and just, but I know this is going to bug me, but I hate returning stuff. Like if this bugs me too much, I'm going to return it and then... I'm going to just um, maybe get that universal stand like I have in my bedroom, but get one for a 75 inch TV. Yeah, so anyway, the TV. So I got the Amazon Omni QLED or QLED TV. Um, I really wanted something that, I mean, it's similar to the one in my bedroom. The one in my bedroom is the Insignia, but this is an actual Amazon branded TV, Fire TV. And it's supposed to be like the cheaper solution for those who want, or the cheaper alternative to those who want the Samsung frame. The only difference is this TV doesn't have the frame like the Samsung TV, but it does have like the gallery where you can go through the pictures and you can pick different artwork. Let me show you guys. So you can like cycle through the pictures here, um, depending on what artwork you chose. I like, my favorite artwork in general is Impressionist. Um, the impressionist um i guess genre of art so that's what i chose but you can see here um you go to the options there are so many other options you can have on your screen as a backdrop when you're not watching it you can think of this as like um what the standby screen is on samsung devices that's pretty much what this is what the frame tv is it's literally just what i would consider standby so you can pick your personal pictures to be on the background um they got all these different options a uh, skyscapes motion art collections which is what i chose and in art collections there's 13 so you got abstract sky escapes uh, you got contemporary all these different light leaks impressionists which is my like when it comes to art and visiting art galleries like i love all art but impressionism is just like my it's always been my favorite it's my favorite form of like uh paintings i just love impressionists um the hudson river school and then just all these other like modern and different symmetry and all that i like the hudson river school also um 
that's nice. And you can select more than one to cycle through. Like you can have more than one um, collection selected. And then also they have motion. So this is really cool. They have seasonal motion. So like if I select this and change my collection here, um, you get winter scenes. So you can have this playing just like a winter um, stream, snowy, uh, just icy, you know, winter escape. Or they have a bonfire on the beach. And then there is the polar sunset, which is nice. This is cool, but most of us like the fireplace that has the crackling sound. So just go to YouTube for that. Or if you have Tube, Tubi, I think it's Tubi. Tubi has a, if, if it's still on there, because they kind of cycle out their um, videos just like Netflix. But Tubi has um, a crackling fireplace that you can put on as well. But there's tons of videos on YouTube for that. But I like the crackling fireplace, not just crackling fireplace. But I like to have the ones on YouTube playing during the holidays when there's like jazz music playing and Christmas music. Depends on the season. If I look at it throughout the year, I just want it to be like jazzy music. But around Christmas time, I want it to be like Christmas themed jazzy music. So anyway, but yeah, you can change this to whatever you want. Oh, and there's also like Earth. Oh, and look at this one, y'all. Oh my God, I gotta show y'all this one. They got the Little Mermaid. Isn't that cute? It's three images of Hallie. Hallie Bailey is the Little Mermaid. That's one. And let's see. Here's the second one, which is really beautiful. And then this is the third one. Where she's sitting on the rock. Just dreaming of a life on land. Isn't it cute? Okay. So, yeah. I love it. But the only thing I wish it had was the, the frame that makes it look like a picture. That would be so cool. Like, this is what they have, which is, it don't compare. This is where it really does not compare to the Samsung at all. Like, Samsung is way ahead. So, they have where you can put a border. And I'm sure what the border looks like. It's like, like y'all, like, what's the point? Like, they got black, navy, gray. They could have at least had cream. And it doesn't look as realistic. Like, it, it's a border. But the Samsung TV one looks like, if you touch it, it feels like it's a textured picture frame border. Um, so, yeah. So, you won't, you won't get that. That's the one part. That's the one thing that probably will maybe keep some people from actually um, getting this version. But I don't mind. But yeah, I don't like any of the borders. Gray, black, navy. Y'all, I cut my braids out, but that's not what we're here for today. We're here for the TV stand that I finally got. It came in. Put you guys right here. So my TV stand finally came for the um, living room. Because I don't remember. Did I come back? I think I probably did come back. I just can't remember. But the one for the living room came in. It looks like this. Just like the one in the bedroom that you guys probably put together. So I won't show you guys me putting this one together because it's literally the same one. Hey y'all, good. Um, I guess you can say late afternoon, early evening. It's 4 p.m. Uh, anyway, happy Saturday. I just realized I never came back last night. Um, sorry, I never came back last night to tell you guys the, <laughs> or to show you guys the finish product but anyway let me show you guys so it worked out um i did go to bed sore last night i actually fell asleep on the couch i set up a little situation up here and i just chilled on the couch don't mind that mirror i still do not know where i want to place it it's very heavy so i need to be like really for sure for sure when i get ready to hang it but anyway it worked out and i'm so excited y'all i did this one woman show okay don't ever do this though if you have someone to help you, please get someone to help you. Um, I just think I'm superwoman. I don't know. I'm, I'm hard-headed. I realized when I said after setting it up that it was a, it's a swivel stand. So, I mean, honestly, I don't really have a need to swivel it um, unless I'm just in the kitchen and I'm in the corner and I want to see what's on the screen. I don't know, but I really don't have a need for right now to swivel this. Yeah, so it, it came out really well. Um... <laughs> Who would Jesus be a protector? Because um, 
yeah i almost dropped this tv multiple times yeah but it turned out really great so i'm happy anyway enough of that i'm just going to little caesars i haven't had little caesars in so long um i was just craving pizza and i, I opened up the domino's app and i was like i'm just gonna order domino's and i was like do you want domino's sir i don't really like this lip liner i got on today i'm gonna switch over to this dark brown one because for some reason i don't know why i don't like wearing the um the mac chestnut I don't really like wearing this one just with gloss for some reason. I usually do, but um, maybe it's when I have a face full of makeup on. But since I'm going like no, pretty much bare face because we we, we have another heat advisory. Um, yeah, so anyway, I have the MAC chest hat on. And then I have that Rummel gloss and then a little bit of that um, NYX uh, butter gloss and ginger snap biscuit but i think i'd rather use a darker brown so i'm really happy that i went to target last weekend and got this eyeliner that i'm using as a lip liner you guys will see it in the car but this is a darker color it's a sima sima or sima brown in the color 603a so yeah anyway let me um take something from my head first because i have a headache i've been having a lot of headaches lately um like a lot of headaches and yeah anyway let me go pick up my pizza i'm already gonna be late picking it up i put it in 4 30 it's 4 25 but it's not that far it's like like two miles away if that so yeah i just need to figure out what i'm gonna take from my head i need to find my motion ibuprofen something i don't know i'll see y'all in the car y'all it is hot out here okay let me pause y'all shiny oh my god shiny got a new album out y'all like y'all need to quit sleeping on them y'all just listen to bts and just one k-pop group that's cool and all but like branch out there's so many other k-pop groups out there i promise i picked up my pizza it's on the back seat y'all i haven't had little caesars i didn't realize how long it's been since i've had little caesars um i can't even say it's been seven years like i haven't had little caesars since before i moved out of tennessee so it's been a long time so they now have a you can order online which i don't know if they always had that but you can even order delivery and i was like what Little Caesars has come up they got stuff course pizza now so i'm hoping the pizza is good because back in the day it was hit or miss but yeah so i'm about to head into heb um i didn't really have a purpose for coming in here because i do need some stuff but i'm not this isn't a grocery shopping day because i really don't feel like being out and bothered like that but i'm gonna run in real quickly um gosh i don't know why i grabbed this cup um this starbucks cup although i always grab her because she's so cute little cute mermaid um but i don't know why i didn't grab the cup that i've been using faithfully since i discovered it at walmart um or not discovered it but i found i found one finally <laughs> i say discover discovery is tricky it's like every time i hear the word discovery just christopher columbus comes to mind discovered but yeah i finally got me one of those uh cups that the ice or whatever you put in there stays cold or hot for 24 hours it's legit and i don't know why i didn't grab that cup because this is going to be melted by the time i come back out but um i'm not going to be here very long so i'm going to run in real quick honestly what i really came here for i'm not even gonna lie nails um i want to look at the nails because heb has a brand of nails that i thought it was like just a new brand for heb but i thought you could probably find it anywhere because i looked at target one day and i didn't see it there and i was like okay that's only an heb brand so it's called D dias or deals i don't know i'm gonna take y'all with me and i'll show y'all what i'm talking about they have like a ton of nails and just nail supplies and stuff and it's real cheap like the nails are like cheaper than kiss and so i want to see what they hitting on and you know do my nails this weekend so come with me and we'll go look at some new nails okay y'all so apparently this brand is like exclusive to heb from what i'm hearing um so i don't know i thought i was gonna find it like elsewhere because it came to mind when i was at target but it's literally an heb exclusive brand and i'm like look how cheap they are 4.99 so I want these and then I want these. I hope they're not too long though. They're medium and for me I have very short nail beds as you guys have seen. 
So I usually go for the short nail bed ones. Um, these are cute too. And then they have these, which are long. They also say vegan, you know, for those who care. Um, so they have medium, long, medium. The only thing about the medium though, they're usually like super long on me, so I don't see any like short ones. So I don't know, I did want these because I love me a good Frenchie. Um, I like these too. I think I'm gonna get the French for now, but these will probably be my next set if I decide to come back. But I'd rather not get them now because I have a habit of buying nails and not wearing them for a long time. But yeah, guys, these are these are the selection. Super cute, um, and they have more than nails. They have like, of course, like manicure, pedicure things. Like that's really cool. I really want. Them. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get these. I'm gonna go ahead and get them. Oh yeah, they have um, like makeup, like beauty blender type of makeup tools. Like so cool. What's this? Ooh, disposable mascara wands. Cool, 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 cool. And I saw some other stuff down here. So it's of course put in order in the store based on the product. So they got lashes. $2.99, y'all. $7.99 for five pairs. $2.99 for one pair. Although, I mean, you can go on, like, Amazon. I don't know. Timu. 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 Wish. Like, you can find cheap lashes. But this is still a good deal compared to what some people are charging for lashes. So, there's that. I love me some lashes. But, like, I never take the time to put them on. But I do love them, so I do want to check out some of their lashes one day. Um, because they're really cute. So anyway, if you live in Texas and you have an H-E-B near you, go to H-E-B, check out the Diosa uh, brand, Goddess Lash Collection. Are all of these, yeah, all of these say Goddess Lash Collection. These are $14.99 for 10 pairs, so. Okay, Diosa. I'll see you. Yeah, I went in there for one thing, y'all. And I came out with multiple things. But I'll show you guys what I got when I get home. Okay, y'all. So, I'm back home. I'm gonna do a little H-E-B haul. I, um, I just went to the restaurant. store. I got some feminine things. <laughs> um, I had a sweet... I've been having a sweet tooth for these. Um, I first had these um, when I went home uh, this past Christmas. And they were so good. And not that I've never had these type of pies before. I'm from Tennessee, and if you're from Tennessee, then you most likely, have, if you grew up in Tennessee, you probably, in some, some point in your life, had a moon pie. As you can see, it doesn't say moon pie because that's the trademark name. It's made in Tennessee. I forget where in Tennessee. It's not Memphis. I don't know if it's Nashville or Chattanooga. I cannot remember. But it's a Tennessee-based com um, company. And they were so good. They come in chocolate, vanilla, banana. But I always love the banana ones. I've had the chocolate, but banana was my favorite moon pie. But I haven't had them in so long. But anyway, these are so good. And they are, honestly, maybe because I haven't had the moon pie in a while. So I may be, like, misremembering. But I feel like these taste better than the, the moon pies I grew up with. So I bought those just to have for when I have a little sweet tooth. And honestly, I didn't go in for these, but I've been needing some. <laughs> But honestly, y'all, I just literally went ahead and look at these nails. So I got the, um, I went ahead and went with these that I showed you guys. I'm a French tip girl. So of course I got the French, the Frenchies. And I really hope they're not too long. And we'll see how they are, like how much. Because sometimes I feel like my nails are wide. And sometimes I feel like they're too small. Because I have small fingers, small ears, like. That's why I know I'm supposed to be smaller than I am, y'all. Like, I need to get on my fitness journey. Because I'm like, my feet are small. Like, I'm short. I'm five feet, okay? But anyway, these are the uh, medium round. And they say up to 10-day wear. The glue is included. But I'm actually not going to use their glue. Because these nails, are, um, I'm new to these. and never used them before. And i rather be smarter. Work smarter, not harder. So, I'm going to use the Kiss Nail Glue that I bought. Now, this is the one that I had previously. I have never opened it. I still, like, it's still in the pack. 
This is the brush on Power Flex glue. Um, I don't really know which one I'm going to use now because I did pick up a traditional like dropper one while I was in the store today. This is the one I picked up today just to have as a backup. Um, but I've always wanted to try the brush on glue so that's why I have this. Um, but I haven't actually done my nails since I bought this. Like I've been like bumming it out like i don't know what's what's been going on with me but i'm doing my nails this weekend if i don't do them tonight i'm definitely gonna do them tomorrow and you guys will see i'm gonna try to film like a little tiktok video um because i keep saying i need to like get more into tiktok so i'm gonna try to film a tiktok video of me actually not really doing my nails but um you know a little short tiktok video um not a long one and i think that's all i got my team order came so i didn't tell you guys but i placed an order on Timu. Actually, I placed two orders. Um, Cause the site was reeling me in y'all. Like I literally said, okay, people going crazy with the Timu. Like, and I, to be honest, I have not watched one Timu or Timu. I don't know how to pronounce it. Timu or is it Tamu? I probably should watch some hauls to see how people are pronouncing it. I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name. Okay, when I first opened this app, I was like, oh, this is giving me cute app. If you guys ever shopped on cute. Cute and Wish are literally the same company, I think. Like, I literally think they're the same company. They look like the same company to me. But the stuff is so freaking cheap. Like, you guys have probably watched hauls. I haven't. Um, so we're going to see what this stuff looks like. Let me go to my order. So I placed more than one order. And that's because they kept on enticing me with stuff. So, like, I placed one order. This was the first order, which was the biggest order. Um, which came yesterday, but I didn't leave the house yesterday at all. So anyway, I didn't check the mail yesterday. I don't know exactly when it's expected. It may come earlier, but y'all, I'll have to show y'all that when it comes. I'm not even going to tell y'all what I ordered because I'm embarrassed. It's a knockoff of something, but I saw it and it was like super cheap. And I had all these like, you know, deals that they gave me. So I ordered it, but I'll show you when it comes in another video, in another vlog. But... I'm looking at this order because I want to make sure everything that I ordered. Like, it doesn't even seem like, like, I feel like I ordered, what did I order? I ordered 13 things. It's all 13 things in here. Like, they literally package their stuff the way, like, if you ever order from Wish or Cute, like I was saying before I got distracted. They, they put everything in, like, one package. So, we're about to open this up and see if everything is what I think it is. So, let me pull up my order. Okay. So the first item, I'm going to put a picture on the screen here so you guys can see. So the first item we have is shiny, stud, shiny wedding stud earrings. Okay, this looks like exactly what I ordered. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me just show you guys in the classic. Okay, that's what it looks like. Oh my gosh, it does look just like the picture. Uh, I don't know why I'm shocked because every time, everything I've ordered on, I know a lot of people had like hit and miss with Wish, but when I was shopping on Wish, like I have so much jewelry that I bought on Wish that to this day, like I swear it has, I rarely have to clean it. Like it looks so good. Um, it didn't tarnish my ears or tarnish my fingers from rings. Like they look literally like I spent more than a dollar on them, but they were like rings that were a dollar. Okay. That is so Okay, period. Period. Yes. Okay, that's okay. One out of thirteen. Okay. The second thing I whoa, these are bigger than the picture. Y'all, these were 97 cents this next item. Hold on. Okay, so the next item I ordered or the finger heart. Like you guys know I love me some K dramas. Y'all know I love me K pop. I know I love my K-pop, my shiny. I was just jamming them in the car today. Um, oh my God, these are so much bigger than I thought. Like I thought they're gonna be really small. Okay, so these are called the finger. I don't know why I thought they're gonna be small. Looking at the picture now. So anyway, you guys see the picture right here. Um, but this is the finger heart gesture design dangle earrings, cute minimalist style alloy jewelry, exquisite gift for women and girls. And this is what they look like. So, like, this is what they look like. This is what they look like on Timu. This picture right here. So. Y'all. 
so cute. Honestly, I kind of wish I had bought. Like, I wanted to actually order some of these. When I saw these, I thought about my boss because my boss is really into Kate. Well, she's not into Kate dramas. Well, no, she's been watching Kate dramas too. But she's not really, if you ask her, she's not really a K-pop fan. She's a BTS fan, which is a difference. She only listens to BTS. She's ARMY. Okay, the third item, which honestly, I'm going to say that for last because... I mean, it was only $2.98, so I'm not going to be disappointed if it doesn't look like what it looks like on the site. So, we're going to save that one for last. We're not even going to open it. So, this next thing is Creative Chain Anklet Set with Locket, with Lock Pendant 3 Layer. And so, this is a picture. This is what it looks like. Real cute. Nice little chunky set. And it honestly looks just like the picture, y'all. Um... If I have to put it on to see what it looks like, but it honestly looks just like the picture. There's a little locket. Like, these are so cute. I love it so far. Okay, the next thing is just an initial necklace. And I've actually been wanting another one, but this one is a gold plated one. I'm trying to straighten it up. So, this is what it looks like. It looks just like the picture pictures right here as you can see so i saw these and thought they were so cute especially with my hair short now wait they bent up oh no they're not bent up now if they break i'm gonna be real hot so i gotta be real careful on bending these i think because of the way they're packaged like they're bent oh they're only a dollar 27 anyway i was always into statement earrings y'all and so i ordered these for like i saw these first and they just spoke to me they're just basically some square earrings and you can see the picture right here it looks just like the picture like just like the picture but if you can see they're bent like you see that so let me try to unbend them there we go oh my gosh they are so cute okay so we're five out of 13 okay okay so the next thing is another pair of earrings these are called golden sun moon design with shiny zircon decor asymmetric earrings y2k golf style girl why these names so long girl just know they the sunny moon so let's just go we're just gonna call them celestial earrings because i don't know what, what y'all talking about i just thought these are so cute because i um i haven't done it in a while but i have a few type a, a few different earrings where they're two different styles like i have one that's a lock one that's a key i haven't worn those in so long but i love i used to love doing this when i was younger when i finally was able to get my ears pierced um because my mother was so anti piercing my ears but i used to wear like different like different earrings and different ears but they're definitely giving yes look at that they're so cute so the next thing we have is rectangular shape golden hoop earrings. And that's all we're going to say because they like to do, do long names. These, they say rectangular shape. And you see the picture right here. They say rectangular shape golden hoop earrings. But honestly, these are like, I don't know, kind of asymmetrical. I don't know, would you call these asymmetrical? But they're definitely giving what I thought they would give. Like they're giving what the picture shows right here. And they feel really light, so they don't feel like they're going to be uncomfortable at all. So, I'm happy about that. The next thing is chunky gold and silver. I didn't get silver, but I got the gold one. Chunky gold and hoop earrings. Well, these are not hoops. Like, what? This is the picture. And this is what we got. So, these are definitely giving... I'm not going to take these out of the package, but... You can see they're definitely giving what the picture is giving. So I'm happy about that. Next thing, because I think I'm done with the jewelry. Okay, so the next thing are hair clips. Now, I have taken my braids out because I actually ordered these with my braids in mind. Or when I wear wigs again or uh, clip-ins. Because I can't do nothing with these right now, okay? Nothing. But when I do um, put my clip-ins in or wig or whatever, these are going to be great. So, as you can see, this is the picture. These are called metal large hair claw clips, just gold claw clips. It's funny that they're in these, this cheap packaging though. <laughs> um, but they are giving, it's three in a pack. These were one, now how much did I spend on these? These are 118 now. How much did I spend on them? 
really they're $3.99 now but it's still a deal I spent $3.99 on them wait a minute how are these originally $2.99 but it said they're on sale right now for $1.18 mm, I feel gypped I feel gypped how are they $2.99 regular price that's a lie I literally spent $3.99 on these y'all tripping anyway it's a deal because honestly I went to Target this past weekend and they had some um clip like this exact clip y'all this metal claw clip is five dollars which i mean isn't a bad deal but i bought a set that's like really cute and aesthetic and gold like this from timu for way less so i'm excited to see my timu order yeah i had never seen this before but they're so cute that clip was five dollars and i was like I think I even, yeah, I did. I put it on my story on Instagram. I was like, y'all, this clip is cute or whatever. It's $5, but I just ordered a set on Timu that was way cheaper, so I'm getting a better deal. Um, but anyway, let me open it. Um, they feel, they don't really feel cheap, even though they're in this cheap packaging. <laughs> they feel... See, they're so cute. So definitely when I'm when I wear my hair, um, when I wear my hair long again, um, I'm gonna wear these. Okay, this is the next one. This one so this was the one that really sold me. Like I was just gonna find one that was just like this. Um like this is the one that sold me, but I realized it also had a set option. So I was like, oh let me get the set. Because I still think $3.99 is good because, I mean, these really should be no more than a dollar and fifty cent, I think. So, $3.99 is not bad. Um, and then this was the last one. This was another one that sold me, too. So, this is what made me finally get the set. And then I really like to look at the square ones. So, aren't those cute? As you can see on the screen, this is a beauty brush that I got. So, this is, oh, it's soft. This is Kabuki Foundation Brush in a wave format definitely definitely giving what it gave on the website on the app like that is so pretty nice and gold nice and soft so i can't wait to wash this and use it um this is supposed to be a foundation brush so it's a kabuki foundation brush um i guess if you like to put makeup on your body like you know bronze or whatever you can probably use it for that because it is big enough for that but i bought it for a foundation i feel like it's going to do a real good job of how well the brushes are the brushes tightly packed so the next thing is just a matcha wish i've been wanting one i was going to get one on amazon but since i decided to make a timu order i was like let me get up a timu so it was 428 and it's i'll let y'all know if it works the way it's supposed to work i've been wanting a matcha wish because my Am amazon my ikea wish the electrical one went out. I kept putting brand new batteries in it thinking it was like the batteries were dead. No, the thing just stopped working. I would hit it and then it would come back on. And if I have to do that, it's time for a new one. So I threw that away and I'm gonna get a quality electric with eventually look for one on Amazon or maybe Timu, I don't know. Um, but until then, I wanted this because I make green tea, uh, I make matcha all the time and I use that electric whisk, but I can't use, I can't make it now because I don't have that whisk. I mean, I could do it by hand, but I don't want to. So, I got that for that. And the last thing that I told you guys I was waiting to the end. This is the picture. Okay. This is the picture. And this is what we're getting. So, this is the phone case. So, I got the Spaceman phone case. I have really been wanting this. Literally for the past couple, two to three years, or probably more. This astronaut phone case keeps popping up on my feed as I'm scrolling Instagram for, like, ads and stuff. Or if I'm watching somebody's story and it goes to the next story and it's an ad in between the stories. And I'm just like, that is so cute. I want that. But this, and I love it because I don't know if you guys can see that. Like, can you even get that on? Like, I don't know if I can get that. It feels like it's not smooth like the outside. Like, it's giving textured and I actually love that. So, and of course, here's the little astronaut. Isn't he cute? So, I'm going to put this on my phone. Oh, my gosh. This is so cute. So, just imagine it. I like the picture. And it's supposed to be able to slip out or whatever. And 
I'll put a picture up here what it's supposed to look like when it's flipped out. So it can it can act as a phone stand or if you're holding it like a pop socket basically, um, which is great for these super big phones because this is the iPhone 13 uh, Pro Pro Max. But oh my gosh, it's giving it's giving what the website what the app said it would give. Okay, and then the last thing. I just keep buying these y'all and I never use them. Like As you can see here, this is the last thing I got. I got some lashes. I wasn't really sure which ones to order because they were so overwhelming. And I was trying to look at the pictures of the people who posted their lashes and just go through them and I just wasn't sure. So I just ended up getting these, the GO4s. They had so many options and they had some that are even longer. So I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And I know these are definitely too long for my eyes, so I have I need to learn how to cut lashes to my eye. Um, but they're so cute, and so I can't wait to try them. But I'm just so even my niece, my niece has been telling me for years because she's a good my niece is a lash girl, y'all. And she always tells me, like she does it with her hand, like she literally just put the glue on, let it get tacky, and then she just plops it on. Like I'm not a plop on girl, like I need my tweezers. Um, so I'm not I'm not blessed and highly favored when it comes to that. Oh. Um, so yeah, that's my team order.